Hi friends, welcome to Easy and Homestyle Cooking. I'm Mrs. Ragini. Today, I'm going to share a breakfast recipe and this breakfast is nothing but a paratha. My husband always says I'm good at parathas. I make n varieties of parathas and today, one of the paratha which is very very simplest to make and if you don't have any any vegetable, you can try this paratha dear friends and this paratha I call it as sattu ki paratha. We are going to mix the roasted chana dal powder with some you know spices and some green chilies onions and some you know for sarnas we are going to add some lemon juice and we are going to stuff it you all know we need the dough you can use the regular wheat flour dough and make this sattuki paratha here i have the roasted chana dal just take it and put it in a blender and you will get like this into a fine powder or even coarse powder also you can grind it so you can see this is not too fine not too coarse this we are going to put it in a bowl and in this we are going to add very little of garam masala some green chilies I'm just making you know two parathas dear friends so I'm using very little of uh, roasted chana dal powder if you want to make more parathas then you can increase the quantity of the powder that is roasted chana dal powder and some coriander powder very little of cumin powder as I said all spices you know this is little bit spicy spicy little bit sour and some coriander finely chopped and also chili powder dear friends and salt very little and some lime juice to it because we are just using the roasted chana dal flour and there is no flavor so we are adding lot of spices and some lemon juice for sourness finely chopped onion i'm just taking you know half a onion and first mix this and our mixture is ready we are not going to wet this this is the stuffing for our paratha so this is perfect if you want you can just check the taste by you know tasting little bit of uh, you know this powder you can check the salt and the sourness also and now this we are going to keep aside and we are going to mix the dough for our paratha that is wheat flour very little of salt and keep telling every time you know whenever we make parathas i always tell the dough should be little bit soft then you can get an excellent excellent parathas so we are going to mix this dough into little bit soft so friends once you mix the dough add little bit oil and then mix it and rest it for 5 to 10 minutes and then you can start making the parathas or rotis and this is see nice and soft and now what i'm going to do is i have already rested it for 5 minutes and this parathas we are going to make it into small just take a small portion of dough and make a dumpling and now you all know how to stuff the you know mixture in our dough so just make a well in the center it should be thick and you know sides should be little bit thin and now take this mixture and very slowly stuff it and now seal the edges if you are not comfortable take little bit you know extra dough you can see i seal it if it is soft then only you can do it very very easily and now we are going to roll this if you want i am going to show it to you one more just make a well just fill it as much as possible you know always when i make parathas my stuffing will be huge you know that way only my husband likes so i always stuff it little bit extra so that each and every portion of your dough will cover with the stuffing you can see i sealed it and this is also ready and now we are going to roll them into small parathas dust some flour and don't press it too much dear friends very very gently try to roll it this way the filling won't come out and it won't bust also and you can see the stuffing is spreading all over your you know the roti and this is done i'm going to make one more and then we are going to cook this on both the sides till we get a nice color so friends here you can see i made two and here the pan is also hot we're going to add very little oil i'm going to cook both at a time so just drop some oil one more if you want you can put some butter and cook this or if you don't want butter ghee or you know oil plain also you can just you know cook like our pulka and you can have this parathas that is sattu ki paratha so friends if you see 
if you roll your dough perfectly then your paratha will puff up nicely you can see this is puffing up like a puri dear friends and one more you can add little bit oil also to the other side till you get a you know a nice color you can cook them other side and this is done you can see this is perfect and in the last before serving just put one cube of butter and serve it just transfer this onto a plate one more and all ready dear friends to serve cut it open and show it to you the stuffing this is hot you can see the stuffing is totally it has spread to our dough and when you have this each and every bite of your paratha it will be tasty and yummy hot hot mm this is very simple yet tasty also very hot dear friends all the masala flavors and i added little bit extra of this lemon juice to give little bit of that sourness that is giving an excellent taste and the little bit of you know green chilies and finely chopped onions which we added is giving slight crunchy effect to our paratha this dish is totally totally yummy dear friends i hope you enjoyed this very very simple sattu ki paratha if you like it make it share it and also feed your family fresh fresh food